might be a disaster. I don't know, okay? You get to watch me fail first and then you get to learn from my mistakes. Doesn't that, it looks like tar. Hello and welcome to day one of romanticizing my life. And day one, I'm choosing off the list, bake something. So um, I've chosen to bake gingerbread cookies because it's Christmas and I put on a festive outfit, my most Christmassy festive outfit that I could find. And um, I've never made gingerbread cookies before, uh, but I'm going to try and make them for you today. And I hope you join along with me and, and make your own Christmas cookies. Um, should be fun, the recipe is pretty easy. I'm going to list like everything that you need. I'm not like a chef or anything like this, so I don't have any fancy equipment, um, but I'm just going to bake for you anyway because it was on the list and I'm gonna do it. So Merry Christmas everybody and let's bake some cookies. Preheat the oven, very important. And we're preheating this to 180 degrees. 180 degrees Celsius which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we are adding the butter and brown sugar to a bowl, and then we have to cream it together. It says that we're supposed to do this in an electric mixing bowl, but I don't have one of those. So I'm going to be doing it by hand to make everything a little bit more fun, but it shouldn't be too hard because this vegan butter is pretty soft. I'm just gonna get an upper body workout while I do this. In goes the brown sugar. I'm also like a way better cook than I am baker. I find baking to be like a little bit challenging, but this recipe it truly does look like pretty simple, even though I've never done it before. Look at that. Mm -mm. Butter and sugar, what a combination. So if you are not vegan, then I guess you just use a normal egg. Um, but I mixed together one tablespoon of flax meal and three tablespoons of water and it's pretty much exactly the same as an egg. So there it goes. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Tasty. <laughs> Not. But you know, it's actually pretty good. I ate some of it raw, so can't really do that with a real egg. Mixing that around. And then we're going to add the molasses. What is molasses? Well, I didn't actually know that, but <laughs> apparently it's some sort of like sugar cane syrup. And it doesn't smell very nice. Ooh. It kind of smells gross. By the way, Seb's the cutest cameraman in the world today. Let's do this. Doesn't that, it looks like tar. There you go, ooh. Come and give it a whiff. Maybe like soy sauce? Yeah, it smells a bit like soy sauce, that's true. This might be a disaster, I don't know, okay? Then the vanilla, yes, half a teaspoon. I never thought I would be a, a cooking channel on YouTube. I never thought, but here I am. Oh, this stinks. Oh, I don't know about this. I'm a bit apprehensive. Yeah, it stinks. Oh, I hope I didn't add too much of that stuff. All right. Okay, I think it's time for the dry ingredients. Let's put these out of the way. So sift the flour into a bowl, then add the baking soda, salt, ginger, cinnamon, or flax. So let's sift them in here first, separate bowl. In goes the flower. It's snowing. Well, Christmas in Australia is in summer, so um, yeah, we don't get snow here. There's nothing snowy about our Christmas, but we still, I don't know, have those kind of decorations even though it's the middle of summer and sometimes it's like 35 degrees. Then we've got our cinnamon or spice. Oh, that smells good. And of course we have the ginger. God, it wouldn't be gingerbread without ginger. Oh, amazing. 
Now let's have a whiff of this. I'm sure it's gonna be. Oh, it smells way better than the wet ingredients. Add all the dry ingredients into the mixing bowl and mix into a thick batter. Mix together. Let's make the dough. Let's make that dough. Dough, 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 dough. Apparently the dough is really sticky and hard to work with. Oh, and another thing, I don't have like gingerbread cookie cutters. So I am gonna be using my imagination and cutting out my own shapes because I'm not gonna go and buy something that I'm going to use once. I can, I can think about what a gingerbread looks like and, and then make that, surely. This doesn't smell like anything else I've ever baked, which usually, usually I just wanna eat it straight out of the mixing bowl. Okay, all right, I think this is gonna be all right. This is gonna be fine. All right, now we need to flower the surface. Yeehaw. Okay, it stinks. <laughs> Looks yummy. Looks like a turd. Oh, this is fine. I don't have a rolling pin. Is there anything in this house I can do with a rolling pin? All right, okay, what about? Nobody wants broken glass in their Christmas cookies. Okay, it's all about improvisation. You don't have to have fancy stuff. You just have to have intuition. First shape I'm gonna do is a circle. Where's our first Christmas cookie? Okay, the stink is starting to go away a little bit. There we go. It's like a dead starfish. Yeah. I don't know what A snowman. A snowman, yes. Great idea. That's my snowman. This looks like a butt plug. It's meant to be a fish. Oh, look at this little guy. I think I might just do them all like this. It's quite an easy shape. I'm gonna just cut some more shapes. Um, and I don't mean dance, maybe I will after this to celebrate though, but I'm gonna cut some more shapes and then I'll show you what shapes I cut because otherwise this is gonna be a really long thing. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you when all the shapes are cut and I'm about to put it in the oven. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and I'm about to get them out of the oven, but I remembered that I didn't put the baking. So that is a mistake and I have no idea what that means for these cookies, but there's no baking powder in there. So I'm going to see what's going to happen with the cookies. Let's find out, shall we? Oof, they're smelling really good. Looks fine. Fuck baking powder, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, baking powder free. Yeah, baking powder free. If you're allergic to baking powder, this is a baking powder free recipe. <laughs> and now we have to make the icing, which is going to be pretty fun. Okay, so basically all you need is icing sugar, vanilla extract, and some milk. Icing, icing, icing. Let's make some icing. One cup of powdered sugar. That's a lot of powdered sugar. And my life would be so much easier if I had measuring cups as well. But I don't. You know, probably not the most proficient person to make a baking video. I feel like all of these romanticizing my life videos are gonna be me just like failing epically. One tablespoon of milk. And how do you say one tablespoon of milk in Polish? Jedna duża łyżka mleka. Yeah! Jedna duża wuszka mleka? Mm -hmm. 
I'm not actually sure. But we will actually start making some Polish food together, won't we? Yes. We're gonna make. Them. We are. We're gonna be for making. Christmas. Yeah. For Christmas, but also we're gonna be making some Polish content on here. Yeah. So if you're from Poland, we're coming for you. All right. So now we've got this most delicious. I want to have a look at this. Sugar, so yeah. <laughs> the most delicious icing. Yum. And now we have to wait for the cookies to cool down. So in the meantime, <laughs> we're gonna make ourselves a katsu curry for dinner because we haven't eaten yet. Um, and then you will see us after when we're all full and have big bellies full of lovely katsu curry. And then we're gonna do some decorating together and you know, <laughs> and then that's it. Okay, so it's the next day because um, we finished a little bit too late for me to continue going last night. <sighs> so this is what I'm using as a piping bag. <laughs> You're supposed to use like a sandwich bag, but I don't have a sandwich bag. I just have this little plastic bag that has a uh, elastic band in it. So that's what I'm using. Let's see if it works. Which cookie do I want to work on first? Okay. Smiley face. I think I've made the icing too runny. Consistency, slightly thicker. They definitely look like something. Nico's eye is, you know, doing its own thing. And his nose. But let me give you a little brief story on all of them. This one lost its leg while surfing. S for Seb. Beep bloom. This one is kind of cool. Alien. Looks a bit alien. Um, this one is probably the prettiest, arguably. If not, maybe this one. But this is our snowman. This is uh, Miko. <laughs> Miko is the worst one. This is supposed to be a Santa hat. This is a Christmas fish. Don't ask me what made me want to make a Christmas fish. This is supposed to say Merry Xmas. Oh, actually, yeah. Yeah. Christmas tree and a love heart. Wow. And then that's it. Oh, and this moon. So come try, come try. Which one do I want to try first? Maybe the Christmas fish? All right. It's a bit hard. I'd maybe put them in for less time next time, but... What do you think? Yeah, it's not bad. Mm. Mm. Look at fruit fly. Mm, don't eat it. No, I won't. So yummy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I had a cookie cutter and I was actually looking at some stuff while I was decorating it and while I was cutting it, they would probably turn out way better. But there we go. That was day one and a half of romanticizing my life, doing this list. Um, here are my cookies. Thank you, and I hope you made some too, but um, yeah, I hope maybe yours turned out a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Maybe I would opt for getting a cookie cutter, but um, yeah, or maybe not. Maybe you're just more talented than me, so. 
uh yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you for day two whenever that will be whatever i'll be doing i'm not sure but i'm excited to find out so thank you very much and merry christmas